Welcome back. Bring vitality back into your life by understanding headaches from migraines to tension headaches. Pali sat down with the GP to learn more. We all struggle with headaches from time to time, but it does not have to affect our life and vitality. Today, joining me on the couch is General Practitioner Dr. Clive Landman to discuss the cause and how best to manage our headaches. Welcome to the show. Thank you, Pelisa. Now, Doctor, I do believe that there are different types of headaches. Can you please explain them? We roughly divide them into primary headaches and secondary headaches. Primary headache says just that there's no obvious underlying condition, a sinister, dangerous condition, potentially very harmful. Those are the ordinary headaches where the primary problem sits in the brain or neck. And the types would be tension headache, by far the most common, uh, migraine, uh, cluster headaches, hypnic. Those are the ones that wake you up at night. Yeah, so those are the primary headaches. Mm -hmm. Secondary headaches, those are where we suspect the underlying conditions, such as an infection, uh, God forbid, a brain tumor, uh, an aneurysm, or injuries. Now, Doctor, have you already mentioned quite severe cases towards the end there when it comes to brain tumors and aneurysms being the cause of these headaches. But generally, typically, what are some of the other causes of headaches? You know, when we refer to headache, we, we, we often divide them. Primary headaches is when there's no underlying other cause. It has to do with the structures that are sensitive in the brain or the neck. And those would be like blood vessels, nerves, muscles. While secondary headaches often have to do with, very often, a more serious condition which underlies the headache. And that could be a brain tumor, aneurysm, meningitis, injuries to neck and head. So we like to make that distinguish. So then, Doctor, what makes ibuprofen such a good choice to relieve headaches? And how can it revitalize us? Oh, it is a wonderful medicine. It's a, it's a medicine that's been around for more than 50 years and has been of great use. Um, it speaks to the source of the pain. It inhibits prostaglandins, big word. But instead of just simply working on the receptor and blocking that, it works way before. So it is very effective. It's rather safe. It's well tolerated by people. It's freely available. It's very affordable. So um, also a first line in treatment of headache syndrome. So what is also useful about ibuprofen, it comes in different dosages. You can use a 200 milligram or a 400 milligram, and depending on the severity. So one can almost tailor make the solution for the patient. That's such good news, especially because headaches are very common. I mean, how often do you come across a client or, or a patient who comes in with a headache? Well, it's a daily complaint. I think it's one of the most common complaints in medicine, whether it be general practice or others. So yes, um, it's estimated that roughly 40% of the global population suffer from headaches. And finally, when is it time to see a professional? When it gets out of hand, when it's obviously excruciating, uh, you will naturally gravitate to your healthcare provider, right? But if it throbs, if it uh, wakes you up at night, it just becomes progressively worse. Or when you feel that wooden painkillers are no longer helping, mm -hmm. or when it impacts on your life. If you have severe associated symptoms, nausea, vomiting, when light or sound becomes painful, you should be speaking to your, to your doctor. Dr. Clive Landman, thank you so much for joining me on the couch and breaking down all things headaches. Thank you very much, Belisa. Pleasure. Now remember, it's extremely important to know the cause of your headaches to be able to live a full life of vitality. Different types of headaches can take the joy out of your day. Live in the moment with Brufin. Brufin. Brutal to pain, kind to you.